Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for being here today. The first presentation is from Vaclav Natravil, Toxicity Monitoring and uh, Assurance of Community Health. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, if you were just a few minutes ago, if you were down on the panel discussion, uh, the word community and toxicity uh, was mentioned during, during this talk. And it is something what I think is interesting for many open source projects. Uh, but let's, let's uh, start from the beginning. A uh, little bit about myself. My name is Václav. And I work as a senior marketing engineer at IX Systems. Sometimes I like, like to add that I am a uh, spec ops engineer, which is a combination of DevOps, data ops, uh, ML ops, and some other ops as well. So simply spec ops. Uh, but that's, that's enough about me. Let's find out also something about you. This is the time for the the pop-up quiz, but I assure it will be it will be easy. Uh, I want to ask you: Do you use any open source project? Please raise your hand if you do. Very nice, very nice. I, I to be honest, I expected that answer. And second answer, uh, so second question: Did you ever find the need for documentation uh, to solve a problem? You know, you ran into an issue. You were using Google or other search engine. To find out the solution, did this ever have? Did, did, did that need ever happen to you? Please raise your hand if it does. Yeah, we have we have some superheroes here, but most most of the, the audience also had the, the the same same experience as I do. And the last and I would say most important question: Did you were ever discouraged by, you know, you found a forum full of snarky comments, personal attacks? Or just you know the community seem hostile, so you abandon the project. Did this this ever happen to you? Yeah, we have we have some some people who who experience this, and this is something what was a problem for us as well. Uh, and it took us a long time to realize that you know there is actual an issue which is which is hurting our our project. But let's start from the. Uh, from the beginning, uh, as I said, IX Systems, that's a uh, company which is behind uh, Trinas. Uh, don't worry, I read the, the guidelines and I will know that you don't like advertisement here, so I'm definitely going to tell you that Trinas is the most popular and arguably the best open source storage system, so never mind about that. So uh, it was a company founded more than 20 years ago. Uh, we were always focused on open source and open source solutions. And because of the bootstrap mentality, uh, until recently we were called the, uh, we like to call ourselves the oldest startup in the, in the valley. And our approach to community was always very uh, liberal, uh, expecting that the community is self-organizing, uh, the community is self-governing, the community grows organically. And then essentially, you don't have to do uh, much to manage it. But same as you cannot accept a pull request which just someone sends your way uh, without looking into it, also a uh, community needs to be managed because if it's not, it can very easily turn into a ugly little community swamp where no one really wants to interact with anyone else. Lots of hostility is, is involved and there's really, dis it's very discouraging for uh, people coming in. So we finally realized this and uh, went into, into uh, managing the community and this created an opportunity for, uh, for me to automate some things and make some things better. How to make things better? That was the, the question we uh, give ourselves. And uh, there were a few iterations. We were thinking, OK, what if we start doing dictionary filtering? You know, Don't let people use bad words on the forums. 
uh, we consider this and it turned out that actually this might not be the best approach because if you have uh, dictionary filterings, people are just going to create a new speed. And you know, if you say I will kill you, it's uh, it's same as you know if you say I will unalive you, it's you know same toxic, it's same bad, and it creates the uh, the animosity as well. But uh, it also adds this new speak also adds another layer of bizarre. So when a new person comes to the forums and will face this, they will be, what's going on here? This is not for me, and they will leave. So this wasn't uh, the way we uh, decided to go. The another one where we already started with uh, natural language processing was the uh, quite often used task of the sentiment analysis. But as you can see from the, the word cloud here, uh, we have words like problem, issue, uh, among those other, other, other better words. So in community, people are often coming uh, with a problem. They are reporting bugs. They, something is not working. So the sentiment of their messages might not be always positive, but it doesn't hurt the community. Actually, those are the messages we really want to hear. So. Uh, this wasn't also also also, also the, the right way. The third and finally good good way, the, the good path we walked on uh, was to do a toxic, uh, toxicity analysis of uh, comments in posts to see if uh, the comments people are uh, adding are hostile, are vulgar. Uh, involve threats and similar, uh, similar, similar types of toxic content. And we come up with a pretty concise solution for uh, this type of type of task. Uh, we uh, created a, a toxicity uh, a toxicity uh, model, which was uh, read in a REST API. Uh, when I say that we, we created, we, we didn't create it, we use a TensorFlow toxicity model and we uh, plug the things together to, to work. Uh, and then we added uh, monitors for uh, certain social media like Twitter, subreddits, and our uh, community forums. Uh, while, uh, while doing this, new message comes, for example, on Twitter, uh, a new message where the word trueness is mentioned uh, will come uh, through the uh, Twitter monitor. Uh, we will ask the, the toxicity model, is this message toxic? We will get a response and based on that we will uh, alert our uh, community manager and admin or we will just save it to the database for uh, a later, later evaluation. Uh, to see what's what's going on really with the with the message triage is uh, uh, shown on this on this schema here. Uh, we have a reader loop. New new message counts. We ask, is it toxic? Is it not? It triggers alert. Uh, the approach is 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 pretty uh, pretty simple. We are not trying to uh, you know, do something overly complex. We are using containerized services which are just uh, uh, orchestrated to, to work nicely together. So what are the benefits of this? Why we are doing it? Why we don't just say, okay, we have a community manager, we have administrators, we don't need to, to do this. So what are the benefits? The big benefit of uh, uh, this solution is that we can uh, find out about the issues sooner. Uh, people don't have to go uh, over multiple uh, social media. They don't have to uh, go over the, the forums all the time uh, to capture every every new post, every new comment. And uh, if the automatic system gets a message which is toxic, they can alert them, they can jump on the, on the issue, uh, they can 
uh, mitigates the problem and it brings them less manual labor because you know, they don't have to proactively search. They, will, they are receiving the, the, the toxic messages. And from the long-term perspective, this is also, also interesting and uh, pretty useful is we can observe incidents on, let's say, monthly basis. basis. Uh, we can see, okay, here was a peak. What, what was it about? And then we can see, okay, someone was complaining about this. And uh, we can make decisions based on this. Uh, is it because something we did? Is it because we, something we did wrong? Uh, is it uh, you know, something uh, we can prevent? And if the incidents happen one time, second time, third time, uh, it's a good indicator for us, okay, this is a persistent problem. We need to address it. Uh, for us, also, the line uh, of toxicity uh, shows the community hall. We know that uh, the community is getting better, getting worse. Uh, indirectly, uh, we can detect issue in our software. If we have people being upset and uh, you know, coming and commenting, about something in our software, we will know that you know, there might be something wrong. And also in the development of any open source project, there are philosophical decisions to be made. Uh, something when the maintainers will decide, this is the path we want to go on. And again, this will help you to see was this decision correct? How does the community react to it? So here's a uh, uh, a view from, from Grafana, uh, where we have the toxicity levels. We have uh, some rolling averages where you can uh, see, see the peaks, where we can say, okay, this was, this was an incident. This was something what we, what we, what we addressed. Okay, so uh, the last thing on the end, uh, it, all, it all can run on, on TrueNest. So all the containers, all the toxicity, uh, um, detection, it all can run within the, the environment. So thank you so much for your attention. Uh, thank you to the organizers. Hello. Well, this is about uh, war, wrong words, right? But uh, have you hit situation when, say, some competitor try to infiltrate or break your community? This is a, this is a pretty, pretty interesting question. Uh, I would say hopefully not, or we were not able to discover that it was an intentional attack. Uh, we uh, would assume that uh, most of the toxic users are either trolls because they just like to troll, o or they are users with um, strong opinions where uh, somehow the toxicity is not harming the community too much. So if different language is used or if um, the issue is properly addressed and uh, they escalate it, uh, it's still beneficial. So I would say we don't uh, experience a, a, a direct attack like that. Um, so you created something quite complex for something that maybe if you hired a person that can read, could do that for you. Uh, I'm sorry, like, like you could actually, like a person could do that, right? If you, you could hire someone who, who's yes. who yeah. just needs one skill, reading, and you could yes. do that, we, right? We, actu we actually uh, have a community management uh, in place. We have people which are doing this, but also, uh, there is uh, there is uh, lots of sources of the content. Also, if you if you know how Reddit works, someone can open an old thread, and you will very easily miss that. If you have a tool which reads every single comment, then uh, you know the manual lab labor save is significant. Uh, 
do you actually provide, uh, I mean, I'm in particular in interested in the question, is it toxic? Uh, is this published somewhere so we can, as a community, y use it to detect yes. messages? Uh, yes, actually, uh, you can uh, find the uh, Twitter um, stream reader, the uh, re a subreddit stream reader, and the uh, toxic, uh, the, the TensorFlow toxicity model wrapped in the, the uh, REST API uh, as container images on uh, my GitHub, and I think that it's also on, on Docker Hub, but I'm not sure if that's very well documented there. So uh, go go into my, my GitHub repositories and find it there. Uh, it's, it's not much, we just wrap uh, existing solutions with a few lines of code that does the, does the, the job we need. Uh, what's your model for improvement of your uh, detection code? Uh, I'm sorry, come again? Uh, what's your model for improvement of the uh, uh, detection of the toxic uh, language? Ah. I mean, it's not 100% oh. so reliable, and I think you detect some false positive and fo or false negative uh, events. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we, uh, we didn't get there yet. Uh, so fine-tuning the models to uh, really uh, fit our situation uh, is something what we plan to do in the in the future. Uh, so far, we uh, are working on the, the, the data set of the, of the, the, the answers uh, or the, the comments to, uh, to 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 train, but we don't really know how to how to do this yet and what will be the approach. So so far, we are just using the the, the generic pre-trained model. Do we have any, any more questions? Then uh, thank you, Vaclav, for being here. Thank you for having me.